Holy shit. Would you subscribe? In a heartbeat, bro. In a heartbeat, I would subscribe to Team Rocket. And I and I'll come out of nowhere with my goddamn Pokeball right here in my possession, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> oh my god. Brock being a listener though, what the hell was that revelation right there? Okay, do we have competition? You know what? I I I love some I love some competition because that just means that we have more to provide for the community. Oh my lord, I <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me let me leave the call right now. And uh, let, let me just quickly talk a little bit about whatever the hell, whatever the hell this episode. This, this is my favorite episode of Journeys. Out of everything I've seen, out of every single episode that has came out in Journeys, this is my favorite episode of this series. But that only is because of the fact that I do podcasts. I do these radio sessions with the crew. So a lot of the things that we just saw in this episode, I can 100% understand. Like the ad lib, if that is true, is that true? Was that ad lib? Like majority of the episode, was that actually ad lib, bro? <laughs> if that was... If that was, bro, that gets a whole lot of praise from me. Yes, it was. Oh, my. Lord. Can you give me a source to that or something on Twitter or wherever they straight up said this shit was ad lib? Because I want to see this. Because if this was truly ad lib, that is 100% as faithful as you can be when having a radio show. Because the ad living, the animation, Jesse taking so front in charge and the other members being like, why the hell are we in the background? Or why are you doing all of it? And what, what happened to us? And everybody tried to work together as a team. What's inside the Pelipper? I can totally relate because I do those little mini segments like where the hell is Suicune at? And now we're getting Suicune in the next episode. <laughs> like I can 100%, I can 100% relate to everything team rocket did in this episode the cameos were well handled too i love that was that a silent tease at the end because he's a, he's considered a sommelier in other parts of things that we know little about so could that could that straight up be silent bro could that straight up be silent as himself bro and then Oh my lord, Team Rocket's like dynamic in this episode was through the roof. I loved it so much. I love how they implemented Sakuragi. I love how they implemented, um, you know, Francois Trainer, whose name just completely continues to flow off my head, bro. <laughs> so like, I, I can't. Renji, Renji, that's what it is. Okay, so here's what we got from this. I, I gotta read this chat, hold on. So according to this episode, um... Uh, back, but when the spotlights are none, they observe it's really on them. The rocket quartet all still record their lines together, even now. Hi Hayashibara often gets carried away and reads her teammates line in addition to her own. The trio will often ad lib lines or suggest alternatives that they think might be better. They talk about how amazing it was that the show used to reanimate their models every single week. Even though it's all stock footage now, the VA still re-record the audio every single time. The quartet used to go out to dinner together often, but really can't do that now because of the events that are happening right now in the world. Uh, Hayashibara believes that if they had to record all their lines separately, it wouldn't be nearly as good because they wouldn't be able to bounce off each other. So freaking lootly, I can 100% understand that. That makes sense. When you're with your crowd, when you're with your group of people, oftentimes you create these things that can never be truly achieved, at least, or it'll be super difficult to achieve when just through a voice line. But when you can find a way to get together, it creates this awesome dynamic that's just something to love, bro. I can totally see what they're saying with that. 
Uh, in fact, Hayashibara says if they ever had to end up recording separately, she would probably call it quits. Oh my god, that is that that's being faithful. That is faithful. That is true friends right there. True friends till the very end. Those rocket tr uh, quads right there. That is straight up true friends till the very end. It's like I'm with them. If not, it's over. That that is that is some admiration right there. They talk about how remarkable it is that the four of them has stuck together more or less all this time when the all the other groups in this show have broken up shit. <laughs> Finally, some info about the upcoming radio episode. Episode 1 airs and the number of recruits are zero. They discovered the number of listeners was zero. The quartet doesn't lose hope and decide to retool the show. New name, new segments, listener giveaways, etc. The show starts to get popular, so the quartet keeps working to make the show successful. Eventually... They forget all about their goal of recruiting the members. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> oh my lord. <laughs> I I have to say. I have to say, honestly, honestly speaking, man. This was this was thank you for following, by the way, buddy. Much appreciated. This is my favorite episode of Journeys. This is a hundred percent my favorite episode of Journeys. If if I if I ever want to come back to an episode of Journeys, this one is gonna be it for me. But once again, this only really applies to me because of what I've done, or maybe it could also apply heavily to a lot of you as well. Because depending on how you approach podcasts or how you might be a listener from the listener's perspective, you might relate to to Renji. But like I can relate more with Team Rocket because I'm more of somebody who uh, does the show alongside with my group of friends. <clears throat> and that is <laughs> that is remarkable, man. The ad living, the animation, the music, the dynamic, everything about that was just so good about this episode. I I I am kind of a little mad. I didn't really see that many people talk about this episode on Twitter. I'm going to be real. Or, well, to see anybody talk about it at all. Like, nobody said, oh, this Team Rocket episode was great. Or this Team Rocket episode was goaded or something like that. Like, I've seen very little talk about it. Uh, but to be fair, you know, with all the events that we've been getting lately with Serena, with Silent, with... Uh, uh, not Silent. Well, technically with this one. Uh, with Bonnie, with Clement. <laughs> you know. Damn. I, I love this. I, I love this. I love... Yeah, it does. Y you are correct, Lemon. That is absolutely correct. Like, if you watch this episode for what it is, I think the only thing people will appreciate will just be that cameo by Brock. Because if you don't understand what's being presented on screen, it'll become a little bit more difficult for anybody to truly admire. When you see it for what it is in raw form, you won't get the best experience. But if you see it now with sub, it's going to be... It, it's, it's great. It absolutely is great. So, overall... In my opinion, in my humble opinion, my favorite Journeys episode. I'm I'm sorry if that sounds stupid, but it it to me, I loved it. I a hundred a hundred percent loved this episode. It is so good. I was so into it that because it's a radio show, I was thinking it was gonna be longer than the typical episode. <laughs> so like I was thinking I was thinking it was going to go for like a 40 minute podcast and we would actually see them working on it. I I want this. I want this. I want to see what they do with Team Rocket every week on this. And it was so like they gave us a little snack, a little tease. Like if they straight up do, if they straight up do a radio show, a legit one similar to what they did back in the BW days, that would be incredible. And now and now with the uh, with the power of technology and how people within the community work together to sub these things, if we get something like that where people sub the radio show, I will lose my mind, man. It, it'll be great. It'll be absolutely remarkable. So overall, in my opinion, once again, a really fantastic freaking episode. I I would hope uh, it goes super well. Uh, this episode was originally scheduled to air in Japan on April 8, 2022. However, the, ch the airing date was changed for unknown reasons. Had this episode aired on its original intended date, it would have aired on the 25th anniversary of Team Rocket's first appearance in the anime. I believe that's what they were intending to do. 
Next episode better be good, KG, or I drink a whole damn bottle of ketchup. Well, that's on you, Joker. <laughs> so that's all on you, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> now, with that being said, uh, yeah, I, I'm happy. I, I'm legitimately happy. I am shook. I am the shooketh. I didn't think. I I really didn't think this episode would be so goaded. That now I, I have to, I, I genuinely have to know how this episode turned out for everybody else. Also, KG, you're rocking hairstyle today, dude. Oh, thank you. I love uh, bedridden hair. It's great. <laughs> I didn't fix shit. This is just waking up after a nice day of a sna snoozing and whatnot. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, now, as you guys can tell, I have me my plate that I promised Joker that I was going to eat some spaghetti with ketchup, of course. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go and send this off to my buddy, if um, she is there. Emmy, <laughs> where the hell are you? <laughs> Let me. <clears throat> I need your help, girl. You're the one I need right now because you know how to set up these things better than I do. Because I I have no idea how to set up a stage, so you clearly know more about those tools than I really do. Hold on, thank you, buddy. <laughs> and we're gonna and we're going to get a live a live reaction chat a live reaction from emmy and we're gonna see what she thinks and we're gonna see uh what she thinks overall about this episode too alongside with everybody else who's on the discord too so let's get everybody we are going to go now enter le call and speak with our friend okay there we go hello hello friend of mine is that you Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Hey. Everybody say hi to Abby. Hi, everyone. Hello, All right. Hello. Emmy, before we begin, yes. obviously, obviously, we have to talk about something. Yes. What do you think about that new art piece you got? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'll show it I again mean, to uh... those who haven't seen it yet. Give me a second. So. But uh, continue, yes. Abby. Like, I just just out of genuine oh. curiosity, I'm I'm interested to know, like, what did you think about the art piece you got here? Honestly, I I cried. I'm not gonna lie. I actually I, I shed a tear because I was just I was just so grateful and just so happy, you know. Because like being a viewer for so long and then just being part of this community, which has helped me develop so much as a person, and then being able to be part of that said podcast that kind of started it all, is just. It's a lot to take in, and it's, I'm very, very grateful <laughs> for the opportunity. Just the fact that I'm here, I'm like, look, that's me with the yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, that's you right there with the chef <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm just so happy with how Sergi did it. I was just, oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm so blown away. I'm like, Sergi, you're so talented. Please, please know how talented you are because this is amazing. And it's just all the little details he got perfectly, and I'm like, oh my heart. My absolute heart. I'm so happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to be part of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear, buddy. Absolutely yes. happy to hear about that. It looks great. Once again, Chef Chew right there. I love that. I know. Oh, it my fits heart, the baker my theme. That's what makes it so killer for me with that one. Yes, exactly. Pikachu is <laughs> just my persona right there. <laughs> <laughs> Your Chef Sona right there. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All righty then, buddy. So thank you, Emmy, and thank you once again to Sergi for the amazing, amazing yes. art piece you got right there. Uh, yes. And Sergi, you're goaded. I can't wait to continue working with you, buddy. Uh, obviously, like I mentioned before in past streams, now that we got Emmy's uh, design here, which she was one of the essential characters I needed for an art piece for later this month, uh, look forward to that, ladies and gents. So that's going to be Yay. great. I won't specify any more. You, if you guys have seen the past Twitch streams, you'll get an no understanding of what it is. But yeah, uh, to everybody so. else, though, <laughs> it's a wait and see to find out. Uh, but exactly. yeah, so, Emmy, now that I've heard your response on this, I have to ask you, buddy. What did yes. you think about this week's episode? You're just raw impressions now. You're just mm -hmm. coming out of it completely raw. All right. First of all, I have one question for you, KG. Uh. Can we have Team Rocket on the pod? <laughs> Please, please, <laughs> please, if I say please, I, I can would, you do it? <laughs> I would lose my shit if somehow I got my, 
uh, Team Rocket right here. Because I'm going to be real with you. I would 100% be a a member of the Team Rocket friendship group, whatever the hell they called it in this episode. Oh my gosh, it was it was amazing. I love this episode so much. Like, oh, it just like, whoa, like Journey's had like two good episodes in a row. What is this? Like, it's been so long since we've got that before. It's just so weird. But no, like so much happened in this episode. But like, I was super happy with it. Honestly, it was like so much happened. So I feel like I have to rewatch it because like I forgot almost everything that happened just because so much happened and it was all amazing and i was laughing i love the the narrator being a character that was that was the coolest thing yes they even threw the letter at at the person be like here you take it you you narrate this shit (laughs) at the end of the episode that was so funny i love that so much and just take yeah and taking the script too he's just holding that little like blurb is just yeah and you see like the little bit uh like the little sweat coming out of its side which is usually when like a character gets scared or something but like since he has, doesn't have a design it's just a bubble there <laughs> i know it's so cute it's just like think of it like the narrator is actually a void and it's just holding the script the yeah. void is holding the script that's amazing <laughs> yeah we need fan art of the narrator let's go chat <laughs> yeah let's go let's go send it to the narrator <laughs> just to be like yo here you go um but like okay let's think backwards brock being in this episode what <laughs> that like i think that's the one thing they hid from this episode where it was just like I'm not, KG, not gonna lie, I thought your stream, like, froze because I had, like, the, like, I have, like, the watch part, not, sorry, yeah, I had the stream <laughs> open, and then, like, the actual, like, episode was on top of it, and then I didn't hear anything, and then I just, like, moved the window, and I just see your just face, you're just staring, and it was so funny, I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> so that was really nice, just Brock, oh, uh, he's just, he's a listener, he's just in the middle of the forest listening to this yeah, podcast, where is all right, he? cool, what? like, that's the question, where the hell is Brock right now? <laughs> Right? And no, I was like, where is he? <laughs> but that was so great. Um, let's see, what else could I think of? Just, okay, James in this episode? My absolute heart. With the bottle ca- caps, his expressions, the premiere ball, like, even, like, Jesse and Meowtu being like, that's from your collection? You're, you're gonna give it, you're gonna give it away? And he's like, yes, for, for the podcast. And I'm like, oh, my heart. My absolute heart. The, what, how wholesome. Like, I, I agree with what everyone has said too. Like, I wish this episode was an hour long. I would watch this so fast. So good. Oh it's my so gosh. Good. I love this episode. I love this episode so much. I need to watch it again. It's it's so <laughs> it, it's what a time. Honestly, yo, just imagine Team Rocket with their food truck and like just doing a podcast. That's their end game right now. I'm <laughs> yeah, calling right? it. I, like their their podcast show, they sell malasadas. Like their their business is gonna boom, bro. Like, I think what's I, I think what's so funny though is that like and uh, I mean like I don't know if you would take this as a negative, but like I feel like Team Rocket spoke more in this episode than they have for the entirety of the series. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I mean like <laughs> God, I feel so bad saying that. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible you're, saying that. You're but not like, wrong, though. But you didn't have to I'm say wrong. it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Team Rocket. I'm sorry if you're listening to this. But like, uh, but I feel like it made up for it in so many ways just because of how beautiful this whole thing was. And also, Oshawa. Hello? Hello? He's is that back? Oshawa a recurring thing? <laughs> Are they just gonna slap Oshawa everywhere in this show? <laughs> uh, see, there's continuity in this episode too, and I love that so much. So good. So good. Honestly, <laughs> continuity I, in the weirdest I, places. Right? I know. But like, uh, just I guess to wrap up my thoughts like quickly, because like I think they're all over the place, but it's okay. Uh, I, I very much enjoyed this episode. I laughed so hard at like the, the moments. It just felt so natural. It just, like, didn't feel like they were forcing anything. This was just Team Rocket being Team Rocket, and we get to enjoy the ride of it. I love that Ash and Go were just minor roles in this, this, and they were just, like, to Sakuragi and Renji, they're just like, oh, I mean, like, all right, you do you, but, like, hey, that's pretty (laughs) cool. (laughs) And that's pretty much it. And just, like, even Sakuragi and Renji, too, just being, like, like, fanboys is just the, bro, they're us. They're the community guys. Yeah, guys, we are represented. Ter- I love, I love everything about that though. It's so uh, great. It was because, it was like, beautiful. once again, as you stated, you know, there are things in this episode either a viewer or a uh, or just a, a podcaster can relate to. Yeah, from the ad libbing to the just listening to the show, being um, 
I, I, what's the proper term? Like just being into it, you know, and enjoying yeah. it and, and having a fun time interacting with them. Like there's so much of that in this episode that you just feel like they really like they really put a lot of attention to how a podcast show works yeah. and created an anime form. And I'm just saying if any of them know about the Pokepod <laughs> and they use that oh. as a core concept, <laughs> you're welcome. But thank you, though, for that, too. <laughs> Like, like Masuda, Masuda SWAT team, if you're, if you're watching these and you're actually like part of like the Journey's writing cast, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> this episode of Pokemon was brought to you by this show, the Pokemon. Masuda SWAT team. Oh my god. But no, I, I enjoyed this episode so much. What a, what a good episode. Good job. Good job, Journeys. I never thought I'd be saying that again. But yeah. good job, Journeys. Good I'm job, Journeys, indeed. I'm happy with this episode. I am absolutely Yeah. Happy. All right then. So what do you say we go and uh, we go and send some love to our friends, our fellow friends within the community, and see yes, what they have to say right. as well, and yes, uh, yes, yes. hear their opinions too. So uh, just to clarify, chat, I'm now going to go into the mute mode so we can give an opportunity for our fellow viewers to also go and share their input too. And this segment here will be taken care of by my buddy here in this call, Emmy. So. Let me thank you once again for taking care of this side for now. Uh, I'm no going problem. to go and enjoy my spaghetti before it gets too yes. cold. <laughs> and yes. uh, don't worry, I'll still be here. Up. So if anything happens, you know, you can always give me a call. But of course. for the most part, I believe everything will be fine, just like every other week. And uh, yes. hopefully everything went well with you guys uh, last week, too. I didn't really get to hear about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, last week was that. Oh, my gosh. Last week was... That was something. And I, I mean that in the best way possible because like Tyrone <laughs> got so much money. There was so much love. He got like a hype train like before we even started the episode. It was great. Like we watched episode 60. There was so much hype in the chat. There was so much hype in like the discussion afterwards. We had like in terms of the ratings, we had nothing lower than an eight. It was just all around nice. Yeah, yeah. almost 100 viewers. Felipe, yeah, he got that right. Almost 100 viewers. We were like, Whoa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is a lot. Like Tyrone left me alone at one point because he had to go get food. He's mm -hmm. like, "All right, Emmy, take over." And I'm like, "100 people." Hello. Um. Hi. Um. Uh. Hello, 100 people. My name is Emmy. Please don't be mean to me. All right. Okay, we watch the episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyrone but, saying uh, the theme man ending. Yes. Remember that? Oh, I oh. love that. He's saying it. Oh, so good. So cool. good. Congrats to Tyrone on that. <laughs> uh, like Tyrone, I listen, man. That was an episode. That's the thing. That was the episode to talk about at that time. So I'm glad Tyrone had an opportunity to play with that. Now, with yes. that being said, uh, I'm not sure if Tyrone will do any more in the future. But if he ever does, make sure to go and send him your love and support his way as well, chat. Just like you've been doing yes. here on this channel. You guys have been super awesome for that. One gives yes. up to put a smile on his face and chaos struck. <laughs> exactly. Joker started it all. It was wonderful. <laughs> God damn it, Joker. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time. <laughs> all right, then, Emmy. So I will pass this on to you, buddy. Invite the peeps who need to come in. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, enjoy my food in the meantime. So cool. take it away, buddy. It's your all session right. of the show now. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's go. This is the... Of course, the discussion for the community. So let's invite some people into here right oh, now. Okay, All yeah. right. So I got Ibo in here. I'm going to get Mike Kuro in here. I'm going to invite, I don't know who I just clicked on. Hi, Prov in here. <laughs> All right. Y'all <laughs> will be the first group. <laughs> All right, guys. Hello. How is everyone? Uh, doing fine. Do doing well. well. Doing, doing fine. Well. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Who wants to go first? I want to go last. <laughs> All right. Okay. Kuro goes last. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's between you and uh, Evo. Hi, Prov. Who? I'll, I'll let Hi, Prov go first if he wants to. All right. Hi, Prov. We're going first. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is it possible to give this, uh, to give Journeys two 10 out of 10s in a row? Yeah. Because, holy crud, <laughs> this episode was out of this world oh my god okay this morning i did not feel so well since the negativity oh, no. of this episode is what i saw people saw mm -hmm. people said it was boring but that was because they were they the the, the, the subs weren't the, the the correct subs weren't out at the time 
So they couldn't yeah. really understand. But when I saw this episode at second hand, I, how long was I laughing for? 24 straight minutes. Nice. There were so many fourth wall breaks. So much activity to go around. So many references. Team Rocket mentioned ASMR. They mentioned the BGM. I... My God. Emmy, like you, my thoughts were all over the place. Yeah, I, so much happened. <laughs> so much happened. The Osh won the rocket. He finally achieved his dream. He he looked so upset when he was in the car, even with Hitmon Lee. But when he's in the rocket, he looks like he's achieved his dream so much. Yeah. And as for the cameos, Brock, I was not expecting. The um, radio simulator, I assumed that was silent, and that was so that was a really big tease for what's to come. And uh, it was nice to see Alistair again. Wolf Kursla, where does that even come from? <sighs> With regards to Team Rocket, their <clears throat> their performance, I love their performance. It turns out, yes, they were ad libbing. Their voice actors were ad libbing, and it also turns out that their voices were recorded before the episode even got animated. The, their voice actors went all out, and that's just what I love about them. Considering who they are. Um, yeah. It's nice that Ash and Go didn't get as much screen time as expected, but it's a Team Rocket focused episode, so I sort of understand. And as for the. <laughs> and as for who the um, messengers are, um. Oh my god. I laughed when Team Rocket um, read their messages. And even after. I love Pro the fact that Professor Cerise was the one who was um, having issues with his daughter and Ren was the one who told um, Team Rocket about Ash and Ghost Dreams. Here's the funny thing. Nobody yeah. knew that was Team Rocket in the podcast. And Team Rocket didn't, didn't know that the dreams that they read were Ashes and Ghost dreams. That's right. the main part. Brock didn't know that that seven princess slate was Jesse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they all had diff. They all went under different names, and that's just honestly, I find this episode relatable in several ways. And <sighs> honestly. Team Rocket, if you're out there, please come join Discord. We'd love to have you on the pod. <laughs> yeah, please. I want to collab. Like, right now. Please. please. Thank you. <laughs> you, would, uh, you would be... <laughs> you I would know. cause a lot of drama. You'd be great. It would be wonderful. But, um, yeah, Hi Prob, what would you give the episode? I gave the last episode Town 10, and it's going to be the same for this one. <laughs> nice. I'm giving it Town 10. All right, so we're starting off really high then with ten. Let's see how I want. I'm interested to see the like how we're gonna go in terms of like the ratings because last week it was eight to ten. So let's see if we stay within that range again. So, but thank you, High Prop. I appreciate it. So, Evo, you're gonna be rolling the dice. Keep rolling the yep. freaking dice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, so I need to watch this episode again because Same. I've only like I. I felt like I was zoning for part of it, but not like because I was bored, but just because like I had a lot going on in the background. But um, I this is definitely a top five episode for me. I need to see this again before I can give a score. For, like, but I will say I loved every bit of it. I this just shows that Team Rocket needs to stay if they can do more gag episodes like this. Like, just every five episodes, like just have them here doing this stuff. We don't need yeah. the typical Team Rocket stuff we get like in DP, or we don't need like anything like what journeys has done to them so far just give them give us this like this is perfect this is great yeah. brock brock is a simp for jesse new ship but uh but i know really uh i just found this episode to be very incredible um i don't i can't give it a 10 yet but i think um if it's top five i would say it's probably a, a maybe a very low 10 but 
Overall, I just I adored this episode. We we also got to see every character like here develop, like um, Sakuragi and the blonde guy whose name I don't remember. Renji. Renly or something like that. Renji. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I'm just happy because we were all complaining, hey, this character's not getting development. And we had 90 episodes to wait for his development. And now suddenly, like, 10 episodes later, we're finally actually getting a little more of his character. So I'm like, yeah, Journey is actually using their characters to do shit with them. And I don't know. I just found this to be very perfect. I think the only flaw I have is that we actually got Ash and Go outside the cameo. I think it just would have been nice if... They like I know there were minor roles already, but like I think had they just not been in the episode at all, I I think it would have made this definitely a ten out of ten. Just because they've been here for twenty five years, if they have to cameo because you know the rule of Ash and all that, it, uh-huh. that's fine. But like at this point, I just wish they got their old episode, and I think we got that with this. But you know, if you gave a whole episode to go, I think Team Rocket needs a whole episode. Yeah, but um, Brock's return. I, I everyone's gonna talk about that, but um I'm just gonna say this brief thought. This is how you do a companion return. Brock's all three episodes so far have been perfect just because he wasn't a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> but uh overall, uh oh, such a good episode. Um right. I'll I'll pass it on to Kuro, but um oh my god, I'm happy. Oh boy. Oh I know boy. same. All right, I, take it home. You ready, Kuro? Kuro? <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. I told you guys last week that this show was peak fiction. I didn't lie. I didn't <laughs> lie. I just, first and foremost, I just want to you know congratulate Amy on the new avatar because, Thank well, you. You, are, oh, yeah, you are not, like, now you are not like the narrator. You are now, you are not oh. now just the voice. In, <laughs> you you are not now just the voice in the void. You, 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 you exist now, okay? Oh you have God. an avatar. <laughs> Think of it like that. That's so yeah. funny. <laughs> also, Team Rocket is stealing your job. You do pastry, they get malasadas. You enter the Poke Pod, they do a podcast. How many things they have to take away from this girl, Team Rocket? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. Wow. We friends. We friends. I still want them on the pod. Just t- don't say that. Don't say that. They won't come on. Okay. 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 They will. But, but yeah, I, I was watching this, and you know, I was just laughing from you know from ear to ear. This episode, like, this episode is absolutely amazing, and like. I can relate to, you know, both Team Rocket, but more to the listeners' part to an extent. Like, you know, I think it's because, you know, Rock and the, the silent reference in the end. I Listening to, you know, radio in, in the woods. Yeah, Jesse and Joy, you know, listening while doing late night shifts uh, while at work. Yeah, I get it. Alistair yeah. is the one that I relate to the most because he's listening to that shit, like, you know, time zones away. Like, okay, yeah. Alistair, I got you. You're a night owl. Uh, we got the curse of the view, so there's that. And, you know, it's a nice nod to, you know, there's, like, the ghost radio um, waves and signals, like, you know. And, uh, well, Team Rocket, they go to the Lavender Tower in the game. It becomes the radio tower in the sequel. So there's that. There's a nice nod. Um, and speaking of radio waves, Renji, in, the, in his room, he has a Magnemite poster. That Magnemite poster is a TCG card. From the Holland expansion of 2005. So the last Team Rocket episode, they got teasing Scarlet and Violet. So maybe they are teasing, you know, some new gimmick. Maybe the third type shit. I don't know. I don't care. All I know oh is, you know, Ranji, R- R- oh I understand you. Listen, l- Listening to pods, I got you. But the moment Sakuragi was speaking like, you know, oh, I had to, you know, work my radio with an antenna and I had to send emails with fax machines. I aged in a heartbeat while I listening to that shit. Like, Sakuragi, I get you. Like, I'm also entering my fatherly years. <laughs> but, you know, like, that, that alone was amazing. And, you know, a good way to celebrate our 25 years. The narrator... If you know, it would have been Oak, right? On Sh- Shizuka, if you know he was still alive. So uh, rest yeah. his soul, right? So I, I think it would have been very, it would have been very funny. Um, and you know, uh, Brock, he has you know the same um, utensils for you know cooking that Kohar had. So uh, maybe that's why you know Dawn was lured into Kohar for the same like kitchen, you know, utensils. <laughs> Sakuragi had twenty five bottle caps because you know. 25 years of Pokemon. Um, Renji, uh, Renji, you got the premiere ball 
uh, Go doesn't have new Pokeballs, what the hell is that? But, you know, the Marpeco SMR, the what's inside of, you know, Pelipper and whatever more, like, that alone was just... <laughs> I, 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 I can't, this episode is just so fucking funny. This episode is just, like, this episode is just so funny. And, <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know how to, like, and, you know, they, they do the Oshawa thing, like, the poor dude was tired of traveling in cars, so now he's doing the rocket. And that's why Brock is here, he got the, the, cra the overcraft, like the rocket ship, so that's why, you know, that's why Brock is here, you know? Consistency, right? We always yes. need consistency. And, you know, Team Rocket, they were doing the, the, travel, the, the tongue twister with tornadoes, and, you know, yeah, well, Operation Tempest, do the radio show investigations, you got an Oshawott, you get silent. What more do you want? You know, Unova Team Rocket was amazing, even though the VAs didn't like it, but the people did. <laughs> I like and they do the Waban, like WB, that's BW backwards, like come on. Like and Sakuragi, I think that this is great, you know, because Sakuragi and everyone else they did the team Sakuragi and Ghost Nightmare, so yeah, Ghost Nightmare is canon now, guys. Like they are rocket fans. Uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but like this is just, you know, like I, I, I can admit this is just amazing. It proves that you know you can do episodes without Ash or Go. Uh, because this reminds me of, you know, the episode where they were in Ula Ula when meeting Nanu. Ash was just like in the butt end of the episode. So you you just need, you know, to have Team Rocket more sporadically and use them properly and correctly. This episode proves it. And it proves one more thing. We had no gotcha machine. No wonder why that episode was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I know, that's so true. Like, they said, what's in the Pelipper? And I was like, please, dear God, please don't let it be the... the gotcha. and, <laughs> please. And, and, Morpe and Morpeko is more controlled. Like, you know, he wasn't he wasn't doing those angry mode tantrums. Like, the guy, you know... Yeah. Uh, so, and like, oh, what, what, what's he eating? And I'm like, I, I don't know, this is just, you know, so funny. The episode was just, you know... I, I'm, gonna, I, okay, I'm gonna give it another 10 out of 10, but, you know... It, I, I understand every perspective from the listener and to, you know, the, the guys like streaming. Like, I was watching this episode and I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I'm watching a Team Rocket episode doing radio, right? So uh -huh. I need to watch this. How the people in the Pokepod watch this? Oh, let's do this. And then they rebrand the name after the second episode. Yep, that's the. I, I should do a drinking game. Every time they do a Pokepod ish thing, I do a shot. That's what I should have oh done God. with this episode. Like, <laughs> oh. And like in the morning after, when they are very tired as hell, that's KG. That's KG every single day. Like, I'm sorry, KG. With that, like that, 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 that's gets KG before the pot. And they do, and they do like, oh like, and, like, and, and and they do the little segments. Like they have segments within segments within segments. Nah, this is just bullshit hour every single hour. That this should have been a two part. This should have been the Journeys movie right there. <laughs> right. I want to take it. I want to take it. This as a Journeys movie any day. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, this is amazing, man. This is amazing. So ten out of ten. Come All on, right. journeys. Now, now, now we just need the Emperor and Greninja, and you do a four out of four, like four yeah. ten out of tens. Come on, come on, please. I know please, we're please. so we're so close. We're so close. All right, so we have three ten out of ten so far. Yay! Okay. We did All it. Right. So I'm gonna yes, move on to the guys. next uh, to the next group. But thank you guys yeah. for uh, giving your thoughts. Yeah. I appreciate it. All anytime, right. So let's move on. All right. Yeah. Let me just say one more thing. Of you course. your whole new drawing thing, hundred out of ten. You are you are uh, already looking uh, cooler. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right. See see you guys later. Bye. All right. So we're gonna have our next uh group up to speak. So we're gonna have Felipe. We're gonna have Nessa. We're gonna have Joker. And yeah, that's gonna be our next. Aww, group. Yeah. Hello, peoples. <laughs> hey hey. All right. Hey. Okay. Who wants to go first? Uh, I guess I could go first. All no right. one ever answers, like, super quickly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> go <no>. ahead. <laughs> okay. ASMR, um, a bit cringe, but okay, I'll go with it, because it was very funny. Uh, it caught me off guard. I was like, wait, what? They're doing Merperco ASMR? I was expecting Merperco to be eating the, the entire segment, but they didn't do that, so thank God. Uh, the professors were being nerds. Yeah, I love that. That was pretty cool. Uh, Team Rock, um, what was this? I guess, um, what was it? With this whole, um, I hope if Team Rocket does any more podcasts, I hope that they raise enough money and they get famous so they can feed themselves and not have Merpeko eat all their food. That would be right? pretty good. Right? I know. 
<laughs> All right, and uh, I hope uh, I realize that Oshawa has a more national, natural, and very consistent character development than Go, which is kind of sad. But uh, we'll go with it. The ball cap part with James was pretty cool. Um, I freaking uh, what was it? Uh, who was it? Who was it? I forgot. Yeah, Cairo, you speaking so I was gonna mention the whole um, Ghost Nightmare came true. <laughs> no. Freaking the whole Diamond of Pearl, um, the Dark Ride Nightmare, it came true. If there's a is a two parter, if there's a two parter for this, I hope that um, what was it? Team Rocket doesn't like remember what they're here for and convert the professors to like Team Rocket members. Right. I don't want. I, I don't want to see the next episode. They're gonna be wearing the uniforms. Yeah, please. Uh, what was it? Uh, let's see. Um, I, I'm, I'm expect with Brock showing up. I'm expecting that the next podcast, if they ever do one, that Alad, Tobias, Leon, Cynthia, Paul, Giovanni, and Chairman Rose, they need to all do a cameo. Please, that would be so they funny. They all need to do a cameo. And, oh my god! And you know how like all the prof- you know the how the both professors got into it. We need all yes. the professors to listen to this. Yeah, that would be that would be more hilarious. That would be so like, funny. They all have like a like they all have like a group chat and they're like, yo, did you guys listen to like the like the latest episode? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It'll be a great callback too, because I have all the cameos and callbacks we get. I don't think we ever see back I don't think we ever see like the professors again. Well, besides Kakui in that one episode. Yeah. So exactly. it'd be really nice if they actually did that and it'll be really hilarious. But I doubt be really it. Cool. But it'll be cool. Yeah. And the narrator's avoid. Neat. Yeah. It's it time. Mm-hmm. So if I were to draw fan art, will I just submit a blank document? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. All right. <laughs> That's all I had to say. Um, what would you eight, give it? 8 out of 10. I'm not, right. not going to give it the full 10 out of 10 because uh, it's. Uh, I guess it doesn't really feel like a Pokemon episode. But it's a cool episode. It's a really good episode. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh Thank yeah, you we believing. did. But was oh. it a cameo or was it an image? Uh, Cairo. Wait, what? Did they like the Ky- Cairo mentioned that we got Elm in twenty one and Rowan in eighty nine? But were they cameos or were they like actual like in the episode? Oh. Or JPEGs. No, where? Uh, I think they were because JPEGs. I don't remember. I'm pretty uh, sure yeah, they were JPEGs. PNG file for oh, Elm yeah. and Rowan was talking in. Episode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I do remember now. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh snap! I forgot about the PNG of Elm. But I mean, like a for real one. I mean, like you know, like actual episodes revolving around like other professors besides the one we know that we. Hey, get. that's a good idea, though. I would like that. That would be really cool because it's something they haven't done before. So that would be interesting. It's like this episode. Like I don't think like, this, this um, like this concept has been done before. So I think that's why it makes it super interesting too. I think that's legit. Like the only cameo and callbacks they haven't done yet. Yeah. All right. But yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, uh, if Joker or Nessa wants to go next, uh, up I'll to you go. guys. All right, okay, Joker, go ahead. So I'm gonna try to keep mine like really short because my thoughts uh-huh. are all over the place. Yeah. But <laughs> okay. So I was ha- I was having like a really bad day today, but then I watched this. Well, I saw the art and that helped, but then I watched Aww. this and I was like, wow, this is a really good episode. And Yay. no more <laughs> to catch be up. honest. Well, I mean, there's next week, <laughs> but uh, I would be honest, when I watched this episode, I was like, this is more than a 10. So I think I'm going to give this like a 15 out of 10, wow. to be honest. Oh, wow. Nice. I just, I just really liked it. It was like really enjoyable. There was no problems. Even Jessie said that she was going to take Evie away. You know, that made me happy. But yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, funny. <laughs> But then, what will Koharu have? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> oh God. She'll Wampa actually have to leave. Up. Yeah. No, she's yeah. She's gonna have to. Wampa, she's gonna leave her, like he should. But uh, I'm I'm really hyped for next week's episode. You know, so, Joe, yeah. ever since you threatened yourself to um, eat ketchup, um, these episodes been going like pretty well. Yeah. I know that this isn't so journeys. Keep doing it. This is. I'm I, convinced this isn't journeys. I think the journeys team doesn't want you to drink ketchup. Yeah, I think they care like 0.5%, and that 0.5% is making sure you don't drink ketchup. And All you right. know what? I'm fine with that. All right, you know what? If if next week's episode's bad, I'm going to drink ketchup. 
They better not oh, mess God. up next week's episode. <laughs> just keep saying that until good. the series is over. Uh, <laughs> just yep. keep saying that. But yeah, uh, did you give a rating? I'm not sure. Oh, you said 15 out of 10. All yeah, right. 15 out of 10. All right. Thank you, Joker. And last but not least for this group, we have Nessa. Go ahead, Nessa. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know what to start. <laughs> I know. In this episode, so much things happen. So it's hard. Just, just start somewhere and you'll end up somewhere. It's okay. So you know how, like, for a long time, like, Team Rocket has not shown up in Journeys? So yeah. you know why? <laughs> They're right. In- they were doing their own podcast show. So they were so busy with that. And then I think by the time when like and like and then by the time we're like we're hearing them, they're like that got popular. It's like they already did like fifty six episodes. So there's like there is no way. So that explains why they have not been there for ages. Yeah. But you know, I- you know what's kinda sad? Mm-hmm. If they what? do, if there is that small chance that they do leave Ash, like this is Ash's last season. Mm-hmm. If the, that slight sliver of 1% chance happen, they could lead Team Rocket in doing podcasts. That's what I'm saying. I, this, is, this is their calling. This is their calling. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. So- That's somewhat money, sad, but really good. If they need money too, <laughs> they could literally like get the food truck back and then do yeah. that on the side. They have their end goal, and I'm so happy with it. Yeah, Podcasting? <laughs> this, is, this is their end goal for sure. For, to, for sure well like i was like i would not mind see i can't see him doing that like especially after squashing this episode i'm like oh my god i was so disappointed when it ended i'm like what that's it i want more yeah it kind of i kind of had that feeling of when when that regina episode with the glacian and i was like i want more and like so that's the same thing i kind of how it felt with t rock and it's like i wanted more and more but you know but they had to end it. And it, it didn't feel like a Journeys episode at all. It, like, it felt so different. Like it was an old different show. Yes. It, so I, I was just like, I was just kind of shocked though. Just like, I wasn't expecting two out of two episodes in a row. That was going to be good. Right. Same. So I, I was, I was surprised. And then, and also like, and then J- James, James stole my heart. <laughs> he was like, I know. I got so happy when I saw his bottle cap collection. I'm like, oh my god, like, what's the last time we've seen those damn bottle caps? Like, he never brings them up anymore. Ever since, like, I think especially ever since when, um, it used to be, like, a prominent thing pre-Diamond and Pearl, uh, um, or Black and White. Now, where it's, like, nowhere to be heard. And all of a sudden, you see that in, in the episode, I'm just like, oh my god. I thought right? Melton ate it. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought, too. <laughs> that's why it's never been brought up. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, yeah. Melton, I thought like James like move on from the bottle cap collection to the Pokeball collection. Yeah, and then and then Sakura, Sakuragi and Renji, they were I loved them in, in this episode too. I was just like sitting here like they're they're like us. Yeah, they get so damn excited watching these radio shows and everything, and then they're like participating, and I was just like, oh my god, it's like they're I was like they're so us, and especially Sakuragi had to make me like feel old when he was like oh i used to listen to the transmission waves and all that and it's showing all like the old school radios and i'm like yes. shit I'm like this is what i grew up on Aww. i grew up on like like that too like i it kind of reminded me i i used to, when i was little i used to have this radio where I, um I, probably when i talk about it it's gonna, gonna bring up my age but that i we used to have this real radio where uh, it was a cassette player and then uh-huh. And then I actually bought blank tapes because, like, back in the day, I loved to, whatever I liked something, I would record it um, from the radio, and then I'll just hit the record button. And also, that, that same radio, I was able to pretend like I was, like, in a podcast or talking about uh, it. It's kinda, it's, so it kind of remind me back to the olden days, so that's why I kind of felt so home, homesome. And then I used to record myself, and then um, and then also, I always love playing music in the background. I'll actually have, like, some, I, I kind of used to do it with Pokemon a lot when it, when it first came out. And I yeah. kind of, like, mix and mashing things. So it was just something I used to do, so. but That's of course, so wholesome. It, it is. And so then it was something, like, so that it, made, it just made me remember my old radio, but, which I don't, I think it broke at the end, so I was sad when uh-huh. that happened. And then, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, and after that, I never found anything that could replicate that, like, at all. So it's, like, like even with like, the modern technology, it's like it's not the same. But no, yeah, it was just some. It just, it just um, hearing that, just like it just made me like, oh my god, it made me miss the old days. And then, yeah. so, and then so I was like, Sakuragi, I was like, thanks for showing my age for just for now. 
but no, it, but yeah, overall, for all though, I had a, such a fun time watching this episode. I'm sitting here like, it, it's like, finally, I think it just took them this long, but they nailed Team Rocket finally. And I'm yeah. just, I was surprised. I was actually surprised today that this episode was not talked about m- much because I think on Twitter, I didn't hear too many people were re- reacting to it. So I was kind of like a little worried. I was like, oh, great. I guess it's not going to be that good or something. And then I, I saw a tweet from Daxu and he was saying that people were complaining that this episode was bad because they couldn't understand him. And yeah. so I was just like, oh, God. I was like, but I was like, that's so stupid, though. I was like, why you don't like the episode? You don't understand it. Just, you know, just wait. wait for the subs. Yeah, yeah. wait for the subs. But, and, and I don't know. Anyways, though, but back to, back to that, though. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I can't believe I, I can't believe we got another banger. So I wonder if we're going to continue this trend. Let's see how long that lasts. If it can surpass three episodes, I think three episodes in a row. Yeah. I think that's, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, it literally. But uh, Nessa, do you have a rating or are you going to wait till the pod? Um, I'm, I'm still debating if I'm going to join Monday or not. It just depends. But I yeah, think yeah. For, it's going to be nine out of ten. Nice. All right. Okay. So we have, I think we have one eight. So it's still the same as last week. Eight to 10. Nice. <laughs> All right. But uh, thank you guys for your opinions. And You're I'm going to move on to the last and final group of tonight. So let me just invite everyone in really quickly. And hey guys. Hello. There we go. I'm Hi, in. everyone. Hello. All right. Okay. Who wants to go first? Sure. All right. Go ahead. Right. This is my favorite Pokemon Journeys episode, like, ever. Nice. The, this is Yay! the best Journeys episode. I laughed so freaking much watching this. Like, like I went into this like, all right, this is going to be pretty funny, I guess. It's going to be cool to see Brock, because I saw that on Twitter earlier. But, uh-huh. like, this episode made me laugh so much. And I, I love that Brock was here. Like, from what I've seen on Twitter, this episode was made at, like, the same time as the PLA special. So I feel like they probably just had his voice actor and were like, yo, want to record something? He was like, hell yeah. But, um, like, that was funny. But, like, honestly, my favorite part of this episode was, um, was the silent reference at the end. Because it's yeah. the type of reference that you're only going to get if you, you know, paid attention to best wishes and you know he's a connoisseur about everything. It's the type of reference that actually rewards the viewer. You know, in Journeys you have, oh, look, Iris is back, she's a champion, and then she lost, and and that's yeah. fine, but here I actually feel like I'm rewarded for caring about the show. So, like, the, is that my favorite character return journeys? Uh, I'm not gonna say, but it's up there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't have too much to say that hasn't already been said. This episode is freaking amazing. I need a movie out of it. Uh, journeys is pretty pogging now. That's that. Yeah, ten out of ten. That's what I have to say. Oh! Oh my gosh, all these high, high like ratings make me so happy. Because that yeah, is a good episode. I agree completely with what you just said. Oh, good. Uh, yay. <laughs> all right. Okay. But thank you. I appreciate it, uh, Alex. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, also, okay. I, yes. uh, one, one last thing. I think it's awesome that like we got to hear uh, Brock and Silence usernames. Yes. Like, oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah. I love that too. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. But, okay, that's all I have to say. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I don't know who wants to go next between the three of you. Can I go next? Of course, go ahead. All right. All I gotta say is this episode radiates crackhead energy. Yes. Like, like Agreed. it was hilarious. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just like honestly, um, last week I I didn't remember watching the pr- pr- preview of it. It's like okay, Team Rocket. And, like, honestly, the series in general, I haven't caught up with that many episodes. That, that was my phone. Like, I saw the okay. Serena episode. I saw some of the Dawn episodes. I saw the first few episodes, mm-hmm. but, like, I haven't really, like, caught up entirely. But the recent okay. episodes, I've been enjoying a lot. Like, it was funny seeing Brock and Alistair listen to their podcast. Like, that got a took a lot of me. And, like, I don't know why, like, the whole radio show thing, that kind of, mm-hmm. like, got me thinking about, like, Twitch streaming, and it's like, oh, hey, <laughs> like, how many viewers we got? And exactly. Like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And like honestly, I don't really score media in general, whether it's games, anime, movies, books. Mm-hmm. But I guess I would give it a ten. Like Kuro said, this is peak fiction. John, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're also, right, 10 out of 10 for you. <laughs> yeah, 10 out of 10. Also, before I go, like, I like the yes. new art for you and Emmy, right? Yes. Oh, no, no, yes, Emmy, yes, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I confused you with, with Nessa. That's okay. Right? That's okay. Uh, <laughs> but because, thank you. I appreciate like, it. Like, you have Pikachu and she has a Volan right you. So All works. right, next. It works. But yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate uh, your thoughts, and I also appreciate the compliment, too, for the art. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, all right, next up, I don't know who wants to go between you two. Uh, want me to go first? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get so roasted by this, but, uh, okay, let's talk about the good, good verse. I, I really love the references, like, seeing yeah. Brock come back is still my, it's, that was really my favorite of this episode, I love Brock. Still my favorite mm-hmm. Ash companions. Um, see a professor and, um, was it the block the blonde guy them geeking out over the radio show is that is, that is me like with all my favorite twitch streamers i, lo- yeah. I love that um uh, the only parts of this episode i really didn't like all that well and um uh, it was definitely i just don't find the team rocket stuff that funny yeah like i don't know i don't know why i was just looking to sitting there like everybody in the chat was like talking about how great the episode was how they're laughing at the laughing at all the jokes and i was sitting there it's like dang I really miss Black and White Team Rocket. Oh, really? Yeah. Back when they were super serious. <laughs> I li- I like Super Serious Team Rocket. I don't know. I mean, like, funny enough, like, yeah, like, uh, during that part of the series, they were more competent. But I've, I mean, has it ever been confirmed like why they reverted them back to like old was, Team Rocket? I think yeah. it was like the voice cast did it like did it like the did it like it. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And I get it. I respect that. Like I understand that. I I I just I, I still find Team Rocket that funny that much. Like I get the jokes they're trying to make. Uh, I don't know that was my that was my opinion of this of the episode. It's still a good good episode. I still enjoyed it. Wait, what what would you give it? Sorry, I'm kind of confused. Wait, did you did you like the episode or are you like kind of mid towards it? Because if you're mid, that's completely fine too. Like you're, you're like, entitled to I like, it. I like mid to it. Like it's definitely okay. not like. By my favorite episodes, but it's definitely uh-huh. like it's far from worse. Like I, it's not even close to the worst. Yeah. Okay, so that's I mean, fair. Like I give it like a six. Oh wow. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Honestly, like I know I was saying, like, yo, we're getting like such like high reviews, but at the end of the day, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So like, mm-hmm. if you're a meh on this episode, you're a meh to the episode, and that's completely fine. So like, but I appreciate mm-hmm. your inputs and your thoughts. So thank you. Yeah. Um. But uh, last but not least, uh, for the night, we will have uh, Sky Ryan. So go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hey. Really love how they... How t- really love how Team Rocket interrupted with... If, uh, interrupted the narrator saying, this is their story, adventure-filled journey, world of Pokemon. Yeah. They really commenced <laughs> their ultimate life from near... We began the Pokepod. <laughs> sort of call back to the black and white era. When they had a chance. Yeah. Also, really love how Jesse leads us to leads us to the one to three opening, which added Altaria because Co Go caught it last week. Oh, did they? Oh snap! I didn't notice that. Okay, cool. I mean, this episode would have come out last week, but it has for some, because they need to have Serena. Mm-hmm. I mean, for unknown reasons. Anyways, the podcast had me very hyped. Was yes. I mean, it brings back. I mean, and I and Cerise has a radio here. Cerise and Red. Yeah. I mean, it was really challenging. Been watching podcast and. Having Ash and Go serve a minor roles. Oh, and that Team Rocket is attracting more and more audience. Like, 
Like the what's in the Pelipper and the Morpeka. So. And they have a giveaway as well, which includes the Premier Ball and the Bottle Caps. I mean, also, Ren does have an Oshawott video. I mean, yeah. Oshawott is mascot. Is If you see the Oshawott, the, it's advertising that you should watch the Uncut Dub. Pain, it's revenge. Pain. Jesse and James have. Er, they, they tell their. It's really <laughs> very hilarious. Seeing. Or that Team Rocket Phone plays the BGM. The background soundtrack. Turn down my body. Down yep. And features. And James feeling more kick Pecco's hunger form. Hunger form. Eight of hours. And of course, Jesse gave a shout out to Rock, which we cuts to him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, last time we saw Brock, he was in the Arkea special. I mean, he was really. And we see Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy disappear as well. And we see yeah. Alistair. We see Alistair here. And we see the debut of Cursola. Of I mean, I mean, the Cursola thing. It's the first time we see it in the anime. I didn't. And Ren, one thing that surprised me is that, that Professor Cerise managed to have all the battle caps while Ren has the Premier Ball. And finally, finally, we see. I mean, I mean, they gave the script to the narrator. He's like. Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He has to give a shout out. And that means the narrator is giving a shout out to to a or to some guy, some connoisseur. Yeah. Connoisseur sounds. Does that? Yeah, it rings a bell to me. It looks, sounds like Silen. Mm hmm. Yeah, the Silen here. Hey, wow. Yeah. Oh, last time you saw him in person, he was with Clement. Honey. Anyways. Yeah. I sure hope Michelle Knotts and Carter Cathcart. <laughs> Let's see how Michelle and Carter Cathcart can handle the podcast. Yeah, sure. right? <laughs> I can imagine them being in part of the podcast. <laughs> I mean, Ray Chase and Billy Commence. As Ren and Cerise in, in this episode would will be such fantastic. I sure hope that we'll have to make sure he, they were. I mean, Sarah Natch and Zena Robinson as cameos for this. Yeah, and but um, return and sure, what really having really. And let's see, and Bill Rogers will be returning as Brock. <laughs> no one end. But uh, what would you give the episode as a rating? I would give it a 10 million out of 10. Woo! Nice. <laughs> so overall, like the ratings have been like, like, like mid to like really high. So like, that's good, honestly. I mean, Actually, hey. wait, I would like to change yes. my score. Okay. I want to change it to a ketchup bottle out of 10. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot with these ketchup bottles. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that wraps it up then for the community night. So, uh, KG, if you want to, if you, hopefully you finish eating your spaghetti with no, you, you know your what pasta. you're saying it takes you like five <laughs> hours to finish that meal jeez that would be insane <laughs> nah 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 i'm good i'm good i'm good thanks though for taking care of that emmy and thank you to no everybody problem. else as well who has partaken in tonight's session of uh commentary for just their thoughts on the review really do appreciate everybody for hopping on through for that but of course now uh it is time for us to go and call it a wrap for the night. So with that being said, ladies and gents, we hope you guys enjoyed tonight's session 
of uh, Reaction Night. If you did and you haven't done yet, make sure to follow us here on Twitch to always be notified whenever we do go live for more of these reactions. If you guys enjoyed this one, uh, thank you all for hopping on through, for uh, having a good time with me and with my buddies here. And uh, we'll see if next week can continue that momentum. We're putting the fate of a 3-on-3 three -three score on a little yellow dog. Will this yellow dog succeed? I I, I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm Go sorry, Amber. Dog, dog. You're you're being put in such a pedestal. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, I I believe in the Yampachi or whatever it's called, Wanpachi, but I don't know if it'll succeed or not. But hey, I didn't expect this episode to deliver, and this episode ended up being that better than I imagined to the point that it became such a favorable episode for me. So. Uh, with that being said, anything is possible in the future. So yep. thanks again, everybody, for tuning in for tonight's session of Reaction Night. Uh, thanks again to my buddy Emmy here for taking care of the second half of the stream as well. Much no appreciated problem. on that, buddy. No problem. No problem. Glad to be here. Glad Yay. to have you on board, buddy. And also, congrats again on your brand new art piece as well. Yeah. Oh, man, Thank it's you. great. I'm just so happy to finally have the whole cast finally updated and given art designs. So now we can use that as references for the future. <laughs> you know what's, you know what's funny though? Is it's like I didn't realize this until I was like paying attention to the stream and I see the little Pikachu in the corner. I'm like, look. At yeah, oh yeah, now that you no longer need to be the Pikachu, you can finally we can finally put that Pikachu somewhere else. So I put it up there. <laughs> I'm I love getting it. the it's Apple beautiful. Pencil KG. Hey, let's go. Nice. Looking forward to seeing what fan arts you guys can make of the community now with the with the cast anyway. Uh, but thank you all so much for your love and support. It has been a wonderful, wonderful uh, week thus far for me personally. And uh, I hope everything has been great for all of you as well. So for now, ladies and gents, we're going to call it a wrap for tonight. However, uh, one last thing before I go. If things go well, no answers just yet. Uh, if things go well and I got nothing planned for tomorrow... I might do a anime reaction stream to some shows because I know nice. I have to watch Spy X Family. I have to yes. watch a uh, science fell in love. I have to watch call me son. Can't communicate. Me. I, I have uh -huh. to watch all these goddamn shows that are, I thought some of them were supposed to come out in the summertime, but apparently not. <laughs> so, <Yep. laughs> so yeah, we'll see where things go for that. Uh, but I'll keep you guys updated, whether it be on Discord or on the f Twitters. But thanks again, once in all, for uh, for your love and support. Let's go and uh, send some love, though, to our buddy. Uh, where is it, though? Where's the raid channel? I want to go and raid Where's my buddy raid? TSS, because I think right now, currently, my man is playing uh, Persona 3 Fest. So make sure to go and raid it to him. Uh, send him some love his way. No spoilers, please. And just simply yes. have a good time. Uh, watching some persona so until then everybody thanks again for tuning in i'll talk with all you lovelies later in whatever video we make take care everybody and as always do me a solid and make sure to have yourselves an awesome day bye everybody bye hello everyone go here thanks for watching the pokemon post discussions episode if you want to see more episodes, then subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss out on a new episode. As always, the future's in the palm of your hand, and happy monstering!